think it, I think he's live on Facebook. And one second, everybody, one second. Yeah, and you're live on YouTube. Boom. Yeah, let's switch camera. Hello! Hey, Facebook and YouTube, how are you doing? It's Friday night, it's 6 p.m. It's Bosch Channel, Bosch Live. That means you are here to cook with us and eat with us, and we have got an extra special treat for you today. We're making vegan fish and chips. Oh my god, look how good they look. Wow, I mean, doesn't that look incredible? Oh, crin crunchy, crispy. Oh, did you hear that? They're just crispy bits that are just gonna in your mouth. Absolutely perfect. I'm Henry, I'm on the food. There's Ian. Hey! hey. hey. And it's Friday night, so um, we're having a beer. Yes, cheers, 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 cheers. There you are, mate. Woohoo! Um, so hopefully you guys are gonna be cooking along with us, either now or later. So if you have got your ingredients in front of you, that's fantastic. If you're cooking at a later date, that's cool too. Just hit pause, because this is quite a complicated recipe with quite a few steps, so you're gonna need to pause every now and again. We're gonna whiz through it in about 25 minutes. Complicated, yes. Delicious, <laughs> absolutely. Trust me, this is one of our finest recipes. It's from our first book, Bosch, and you just won't believe how good it is. It's so good. I mean, we, you know, who didn't used to love fish and chips? We don't eat fish anymore, um, but we still like that kind of crunchy, crispy, flaky flavour and texture. And of course, it's Friday night chippy tea! Chippy tea! Chippy tea! Chippy tea! Chippy tea. <laughs> Ian, what's chippy tea? Well, we have to ask MJ for that, but maybe we can ask her later on when she comes down to try it. Absolutely. Uh, my fiance MJ loves a chippy tea. Basically just means like, having chips for your tea. On a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Right, without further ado, let's get cracking. So this is what we're making. Let's have one more look over here. Oh, look at that. It looks good from the side. It looks so great from the top. And I will move this out as Henry brings that I'll in. move something in. Oh, look at that. Look we're at getting that. good at this, dude. Oh, we're getting good-ish. Good, not too bad. Look at there we are. We've got tofu. That's what else coming in got? nice and neat over there. Look at that. Anyone would think we'd done this before, mate. Yeah, mate, that is the vibe. Oh, Do you know, mate. we're actually, uh, Ian, we're getting to, this is number 15 of our lives. 15? We've now done 15, yeah. Goodness me. Yeah, la quarantine lockdown. Have you been enjoying these lives, by the way? So Henry takes a journal every day. I take a journal too, but he's been doing it for a little bit longer than I have. And uh, he came out with something quite shocking today, didn't he? Yeah, it's, uh, it's now 40 days that we've been, the two of us and our housemates, on lockdown. 40 days today. 40 days, yeah. I mean, what, that's a long old time. But we hope that we're um, providing a little bit of entertainment value for you guys um, as you're quarantined too. Yeah, and, and it is a bit biblical, isn't it? <laughs> Quarantine yeah. apparently has some like um, similarities to Lent in many ways, uh, where the word comes from, and 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah, 40 days. That's how long we've been locked in. Was that a movie? It's just a biblical thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know quite the exact yeah, reference. Forty nights, <laughs> but it was also a movie. Yeah. If you know what Forty Days and Forty Nights is, let us know in the comments below. Producer Kathy is in my ear, and she will relay any questions or comments that you have, and we'll try and chat them on. I think it was Tom Hanks and that girl and Meg Ryan. Hell yeah. Okay. Seven days and seven nights. Oh, I don't. Know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right. Anyway. Let's get cooking. So the first thing that you're going to need is tofu. So. If you can find high quality tofu, that would be great. We have got a really nice high quality tofu here. Look, you can see that in the top camera. If I hold it up here in front of my eyes, we should catch focus. I mean, that it just kind of looks very white, doesn't it? Yeah. It's been really well pressed. So Ian has put this to press for, what, an hour? Yeah, I put that on press for around about an hour. Tofu press is a wonderful thing. We've used it loads today, uh, this week. <laughs> we have, I mean, it's been tofu week. Um, so once you've got your nice, high quality pressed tofu, we're gonna chop it into kind of little fish goujon sized slices. So the first thing is we're gonna pop it on its side like so. I'll think about that camera there. Mm -hmm. And just slice that through there. Nice. Now this recipe is in Bosch number one, the cookbook, written down. So if you want to follow it, you can find it there. It's also in, um, it's on our website as well. Uh, so if you just check on Bosch.tv, you'll find it for free too. Henry, do you know who would uh, really like this? Uh, everyone. Richard and Gemma would love oh, this recipe. Oh man, Richard, Richard and Gemma, Gemma back. I love Richard and Gemma. They're cool, aren't they? Yes, they are. They, don't you think they make a great couple? <laughs> 
Yes, <laughs> you and Jim and Jamie are the best couple going. Yeah, um, as you can tell, we've had uh, one beer and we might be a bit more waffly than we were the rest of the week. Okay, so we now have our tofu. I've sliced it once. Now I'm going to just go in half like that down the middle. This makes it easy for me to get nice even slices. Once more there and once more there. And you can see we've got eight perfectly sized tofu goujons. I can even like manipulate them together. Look at that. That looks really cool, man. Now there's a, a little secret ingredient here that we're gonna use. I'm just gonna spread these out so you get a nice shot of them. The secret ingredient is this stuff. That is uh, sushi nori, yaki sushi nori. So if you manage to get hold of that, fantastic. If you can get hold of that, great. It's not essential, it's optional. Essentially this is seaweed. Yeah, it's funny stuff, isn't it? It's weird stuff. Yeah. Uh, it has a shiny side and a not shiny side. It also has these little grooves down it, which you probably, yeah, you can kind of see that in the light. And by some stroke of luck, those grooves are about the same size as our little slices. So we're gonna basically, I'll give you those to yep. get rid of. We're gonna chop with scissors that nori until it is exactly, oh, there we go, exactly the size of these little pieces of tofu. And why are we doing that? We're doing that because it's gonna kind of replicate the fishy flavor because it's seaweed, but it's also gonna replicate when you had like haddock. When he, I always used to like haddock. Mm. For want of a better word, it replicates skin. Skin, yeah, which is kind of disgusting to me now, but you know, that's what we're going for. Fishy flavor, a little kind of mimicry of skin, but we're also gonna hit that tofu with a load of flavor. So without further ado, let's enter the territory of flavor. Now I'm, I'm thinking about a recipe video here. Shall we get a little um, camera? Camera, should we want the camera um, there? Yeah, camera that's three. My job. I'm gonna go yeah. do that now. Henry, take it away, I, bro. I will, I will. Okay, cool. So the first ingredient, basically what we're doing is we're gonna hit these little bits of tofu with flavor. Think about it, we've pressed them, so we've got any excess water out of the tofu. And tofu is gonna act like a sponge. We're gonna hit it with some flavors that are in liquid form, and it's gonna soak them back in. So if you're doing this at home, try and give this about 15 minutes to 30 minutes. But in future, it's better to give it an hour or two. We're not gonna do that today. So I'm gonna hit it with some flavors that remind us of the sea. So the first one is white wine. Oh, a little glass of white wine. And we're gonna get lots of lovely food shots today. Our producers told us they wanted more food shots, so that's what we're gonna do. This, ooh, is quite an interesting ingredient right here. This is caper brine. So essentially, if you've got a jar of capers, this is just the like um, leftover liquid that is in the bottom of that jar. Do you know what, when we were writing the ingredient list, I said to the guys um, that if you didn't have that, you could use white wine vinegar. Yes, absolutely. And essentially, you can freestyle this a little bit because this is about finding things that remind you of the sea. I mean, you know, you could, if you can think of anything else that reminds you of the sea, pop it in here, absolutely. We're gonna add some salt, obviously, for flavor. And if we had a little implement, I might give that a stir. Oh yeah, I could yeah. grab a little spoon. Sorry, my bad. No worries. Um, but while Ian is grabbing that spoon, I'm gonna squeeze in the juice of one lemon. Catching the pips in my hand. Because, you know, lemon just, it just evokes memories of fish, doesn't it? It really does. Um, yeah, and in the book that this recipe is from, Bosch, we actually show you how to make a really nice vegan tartar sauce. But oh. we decided against it here because we've only got 30 minutes. <laughs> we don't want to eat too far into your Friday night. Time is short. But these flavours are great. And, and if you think about what's happening here, you know, there's a little bit of, oh, never mind. <laughs> this is how we like to treat tofu. This has been tofu week. We've been showing you all about tofu. And you know, a lot of it has been uh, involving corn flour and battering that tofu. In fact, has every single dish involved battering tofu? I think, uh, pretty apart much. from <laughs> yesterday's scrambled egg, the answer apart to that scrambled egg, yeah. Um, but also, this has got a cool little technique which is just giving that tofu some flavor, really trying to inject the flavor inside it. So, quickly gonna stir around this lovely little marinade. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if I smell that, you know, you've got white wine, you've got caper brine, you've got lemon. That lemon really comes through. And that's kind of like flavors of the sea. So we'll pop our little tofu buddies in here. Our little cruelty-free goujons are going in. You know, these are, these are little happy pieces of tofish, not fish. Mm -hmm. Pop them in there and just let them basically sit in a bath. So like I said, if you're cooking along at home, 
you'll want to leave this for uh, as long as you can be bothered to wait, maybe while you like get your chips ready and that. In future, you might do it in the day and give it an hour or two to soak. Turn them every now and again so that you can make sure that they're completely covered all the way through. Luckily, we've got some that we prepared earlier. And the ones that we prepared earlier have got one more thing that's happened to them, which is these lovely little nori sheets. We find the ones that fit and we lay them down on top of the tofu. I mean, isn't this a cool little recipe? It is a really interesting recipe. Uh, like, but most of vegan food is. When, when, uh, when people who uh, used to be meat eaters and who are now vegan, like try to, to make things that they, they used to love, great things happen. And this is one of these recipes. Absolutely, and, and that's the thing, you get to, when you do go plant-based or when you start to eat more plant-based food, because not everybody who follows us is gonna be vegan or plant-based, but when you start experimenting with it, you really start to learn new techniques and new ways of getting flavor into food um, without relying on the kind of cheap, easy source of flavor that is like a steak, for example. And here I have some cocktail sticks. You can see that cam or in the top cam. There we go, Woo! little cocktail sticks. Now I'm just gonna pop these little beauties in here. This is gonna help those nori sheets to just stick to our tofu. Nice, look at that. How's uh, our oil temperature, Ian? Just thinking ahead. Let me go and check that. Yeah, yeah. Let Perfect me go and check moment. that. Um, I'll leave us on the top cam while we do that so you can just Ooh, see me is. carefully sticking these in. Yeah, Maybe yeah. give you a bit of side cam so you get a different perspective. And think about what's going on. We're both injecting that tofu with flavor by leaving it in the liquid and letting it soak up all that flavor like a sponge. But we're also popping in this, uh, sitting it next to this nori that also tastes like the sea and, um, and is also gonna kind of replicate the skin of uh, fish, which we, we're gonna make with tofu instead. That's gonna sit for 15 minutes or so, but I'm gonna pop that over here because we have one that we made earlier. Of course we have one we made earlier. That's how we do. Sorry about this, guys. No worries. I'm just, uh, the oil too hot. The oil is like lubricant water. Okay. Uh, Ian's prepping the next stage. So if you are cooking along at home, you're going to be getting some oil ready. So put your oil on now. We want a deep, a deep fry. We're going to do a deep fry. If you can get that oil to about 180 degrees, that would be good. What we're not going to do today is we're not going to do the air fryer thing. We did a test in the air fryer and it just kind of stuck to the sides and it just didn't feel right. So we're going to be pure about this. This is, you know, it's tofu fish and chips. It's cheat day, it's Friday. We're going to make something that really feels luxurious, indulgent. Mate, I've sorted that oil out. Yeah. Right, so guys, I'll just tell you what I just did just then. Uh, so earlier on, we put the oil on, on a really low simmer and we um, had every intention of checking it whilst going live, but I completely forgot. So I checked the thermometer and it was at the top of the thermometer, which basically means it was 200 degrees Celsius, which means it was way too hot. So a really good trick to lower the temperature of oil is to put some more oil in the pan that's like cold. So it sort of just reduces the overall temperature and that's what I've just done. So now what we have is oil which is exactly 180 degrees, which is perfect for frying. Um, but before we do that, I think Henry has got some wonderful technique to make this Tofu tastes just like fish. Uh, what's, what is that? I can't right, so, or, or just like the sort of fish that you expect to find in your common or garden British fish and chip shop, the crunchy batter duck. Well, just the, the rest of it. Yeah, yeah the rest of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's Friday. We're just warming up. Okay, um, so whilst Ian was sorting out the oil, um, as remember, you know, it, this is Bosch Live. Mm. We're live from our home. This is where we live. We, we've happened to like build this into something that resembles a mini studio so that we can hang out with you lot and cook with you lot. Um, but you know, we are still making this up as we go along. So thank you for bearing with us. And now Kat has just whispered in my ear that a lot of you guys who wanted to cook along with us couldn't find nori. And you know what? We found it pretty difficult to find nori. We had to go to an Asian supermarket. But if you couldn't find any nori, don't worry, because the um, the marinade that we made for that wonderful tofu would be more than would, it would suffice, wouldn't it? And Absolutely. Not just suffice, it would make it taste delicious. So yeah, nori is a is a genuine bonus if you've got it. But if you haven't got it, don't worry. Also, I mean, this is probably easier. This recipe, if you don't bother with the nori, 
Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're basically saving yourself a step. I don't think the Nori adds that much, but it is a kind of nice touch, so we wanted to show it to you all. It's what we put in our book. But you might just hit it with the right flavours and then just fry it and take it easy, so that would be fine too. Cool. Shall we tell them what's happening later on? Y yes. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> before we get into properly showing you how to turn this into vegan fish and chips, uh, we have a couple of messages to give you. Number one, do subscribe if you're not already. Hit subscribe, hit like, hit the little notification thing. Um, it really helps and you will get to see when we go live because we'll be doing this at least for another week. Yeah, and another message that we've got for you is that tonight is the inaugural night of the Bosch Lounge bin. What's the Bosch Lounge, I hear you say? Well, I'll let Mr. Firth tell you. Right, what we're going to do, this is a table here, if you look down on this table. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Top count. There we go, this is a table here. And what we're going to do is, we are going to, the minute we finish this, which is in about 20 minutes, we're going to wheel this table away, yes. we're going to wheel another table in, and we're going to hang out with you for another two hours playing you some music. So we're basically going to spend our Friday night with all of you. We'll have cooked, we'll be eating, and we'll be doing a little bit of DJing at the same time. So um, that will be over at twitch.tv slash Bosch Live. That's uh, twitch.tv forward slash Bosch Live. And what we will also do is stick it on our Instagram story so you can just go straight there and it will be a link and probably a swipe up as well. It will be well worth it. It's the first time it's ever happened. Please join us on this momentous occasion. Yeah, and it's not something we do regularly, but we did have our book launch party um, we did play music there, we like to do that, it'll be fun for us to hang out with you lot for a couple more hours. We'll keep an eye on all the comments and stuff, and uh, play some fun kind of vibey house music. Yum 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 for the ears, and now for yum 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 for the belly. Right, moving on, back to the recipe. So, next up we are going to make a batter for our little tofu goujons. So I'm going to add to these pan, I'm going to add to this mixing bowl a load of dry ingredients. First up is corn flour. Second up is, I'll wait for Ian to get the shot. Sorry, my bad. And boom. <laughs> Second up is some plain flour. Now why have we added the corn flour? We've added that because it's, it's going to help just give us a really crispy coating. It's going to make sure the coating is uh, crispy. You could also use rice flour for that if you wanted to. If you can't get hold of plain flour, you could use self-raising, you could experiment with different flours that you've got. You don't necessarily have to follow this recipe exactly. I know it's really hard to get flour right now, isn't yeah, it? Flour out of all it's the mad. things that you, you want. There's tomato puree, chopped tomatoes, chickpeas, and bloody flour. You can't find it anywhere for love and money. Next up, I'm putting in some salt and some pepper. Quickly stir all that together. There you go. Nice Eat. Nice work. Give that a little mixy, mixy mix. We just want to get our dry ingredients well incorporated. Whenever you're working with wet and dry, it's good to get your dry well mixed first before you add the wet. And the wet ingredient that's going to form this batter is, of course, a bitter bitter. A bitter, a bitter bitter beer. Right, so bitter's going to add, it's going to add a nice flavour. It's going to also just help to aerate this whole thing. You could use something that's fizzy if you prefer. Um, but we're using London Pride Ale because we're from London and we're proud of it. Well, we're actually from Sheffield, so yeah. we should use like a black <laughs> sheep Yorkshire beer or something. But Thornbridge. But we've been in London so long now, it's it, kind of... We've been here for a long, long time. Long time. Long time. Long time. So now, just, now I'm just going to whisk all that together. And the key thing here with this whisking is to make sure you've got no bits left over. You don't want any kind of bits of flour that are going to do nasty things. That is solid. It looks really nice and smooth. It's, it's like a proper a cake batter. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Also, it's just, you know, it feels good on your bicep to give this a bit of a, uh, a bit of a blast. And at this point, if you wanted to add some flavor into your, bat, uh, into your batter, you probably could. Like, you could probably throw some cumin in there or some turmeric for color. It could be like a real experiment. Turmeric? Yeah. Wow, like, like curry fish and yeah. chips. Curry fish and chips! <laughs> Bosch video coming soon, yeah. Bosch TV, baby. That's, that's how basically we come up with Bosch recipe. <laughs> right, how's our oil, dude? Oh yeah, I'll go. I think we're good. Let's, fingers crossed, it doesn't buzz yeah. in the flames. Uh, if you have got any questions, pop them below. Um, Kathy, producer Kathy, is in Ian's ear. In, in Ian's ear? Yeah. In Ian's ear, that's quite hard to say. And um, she'll be feeding us questions. If this oil isn't hot enough, we no, may have... perfect. Oh, is it? Oh, good man. In which case, we'll be frying. So, a uh, good question that Kat has just whispered into my ear yeah. was, um, if you didn't like tofu, um, what else could you do this with? 
Because I mean, like Meriel does it with those wicked, um, th those fish goujons, but like the, the vegan yeah. fish goujons. Yeah, yeah. If you go to like an Asian supermarket, you will find um, vegan fish alternatives that are often made with soya. Mm -hmm. uh, so you could go to your local Asian supermarket and see what they've got there. Another option would be that a load of people are using banana blossom. Ooh, yeah, I've got that. Yeah, um, banana blossom is this like weird flower that grows on the bottom of a banana tree. I actually saw some when we were in Bali. I was like, it's a banana. The bottom, and it was. There you go. But we can get it in cans like that. So that would be an option. Um, but if you are going to use banana blossom, I'm not sure this recipe will work for that. So you might want to just find another recipe. We will write one for that at some point, but not now. I'm conscious time is ticking on. I'm waffling. We've got 10 minutes left. <laughs> 10 okay. minutes to go. So our oil is good, is it? Right temperature? Uh, yeah, our oil's great. Yeah, pop it on. I'll get the. Um, I'm going to get the. Uh, Thermometer as well. Now we are deep frying here, so be super careful, like incredibly careful. You need to tell everybody in the room there's hot oil. Don't burn yourself, don't let that pan fall anywhere. This is like time to be super careful in the kitchen. Super respectful, super responsible. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take our little goujons here, these little beauties, remember them from before? They've got all that flavour inside and they have that little nori sheet. It's quite handy having the cocktail sticks because I can just like manipulate them with the cocktail sticks. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a better shot for the side. Where you got that there, and then we're gonna go in on this one. You can remove that thermometer, dude. We don't need it. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, it's good to know with a thermometer that you are at the right temperature, but actually probably get it out of the pan when you're in the right place. And you should use a slotted spoon and just pop that in there like that. So that is a battered little goujon. Now I'm gonna start speeding up here because we've got quite a bit to get through. And there we go. Another one is going in. Onto the side, Woo! there we go. Look, there we go. Got that. Lovely. Oh, you want the shot, right? Yeah, that's cool. No, I quite like it, it's kind of cool. Whee! Oh, that was a sizzler. That is a right. sizzle. Three is enough for now. We're gonna let them, oh, should we do four? Let's do a four. The, this, the, remember that when you put them in, they are gonna cool the oil of the pan down. So make sure you pop that heat up. I'm just gonna rinse my hands a second. Yeah, there it is bubbling away. Yeah, I mean, um, deep frying is something we don't do all the time, but you know, like we do it when it's totally necessary. And for this to have that really crispy, crunchy, wonderfully satisfying um, sensation that you get with like fish and chips or vegan fish and chips that you get in your local fish and chip shop, you need to deep fry. So yeah, this is definitely a Friday treat and uh, it will be well, 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 well worth it. Hope you're enjoying cooking along with us, guys. Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it, that's <laughs> right. But you know what? I'm more looking forward to later because that music is going to be good, good, good. Where's our uh, slotted spoon? Oh, the slotted spoon, I will get that. Don't yes, worry. please. So um, if you have just joined us, this is Bosch Live. I'm Henry, that's Ian. We cook together on Bosch.tv. We make plant-based vegan food basically every single day. We're social distancing and that's why we're live because we thought we'd basically just start doing loads of live videos. That's why we're here and we are cooking vegan fish and chips right now. Vegan fish is simmering away right there in that pan. Look at that. It's got a good old bubble on it, that's for sure. Now, the one thing you wanna check if you're cooking along at home is that you're not sticking. So make sure like the oil is gonna crisp up the outside of that batter, but just make sure they're not sticking together and nothing's stuck to the bottom. That is all looking great. Now we've got an extra special trick we're going to show you that not everybody would know, um, so it's worth you watching this video. Basically, we have an extra special technique to get the extra crispiness. Which what is what you, were, you were talking about before. Yeah. I just realised, I just <laughs> cottoned on to it. <laughs> the super duper lovely crispy technique. Uh, oh, is it, is, it, is it ready? I'm no, no, not yet. No, definitely not. No. You have to watch and find out. I think this is the perfect time for a Q&A. What you're going to wait what you want to wait for with these little goujons now is just fry them until they turn golden brown and we are not there yet. So they're going to continue to fry for a little while longer. So if you've got any questions then tell Kat because Kat will tell me and I'll relay it to Henry and we'll answer, the, answer it collectively. Favourite jackfruit recipe? That is a very out, uh, outlandish, unexpected question considering we're cooking with tofu. But I think my personal favourite would be the jackfruit tacos from book one. Mm -hmm. Bad boy. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I would say... Oh, that roast. Do you, know, do you know? I mean, yes, okay. Well, you say that one. You said it. 
Yeah, oh yeah, mate, there's another one. In book number two, Bish Bash Bosh, we did a one pack, one tray roast dinner and we used jackfruit and it was really good. We also made a wicked, a badass pork sandwich with jackfruit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, right, while well, I'm telling you mine, you could get some kitchen paper so we can give these a little dry before we do the second thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, right, so my favorite jackfruit recipe, I think if you watched Living on the Veg, you would have seen it. My favorite jackfruit recipe is actually one that Marielle from Club Mexicana cooked for us, and that was her barbecue ribs. So she basically creates these incredible, luxurious Mexican slash Tex-Mex ribs with jackfruit and seitan, covered in barbecue sauce, baked in the oven. They're absolutely incredible. You know what I mean? I mean, it's Marielle. She, she, she won like the street food of the year in London. Yeah, she did. I mean, Mariel, um, Club Mexicana, what a legend. She sent us a couple of t-shirts um, recently to say thank you for having us on the TV show that we did on ITV, Living on the Veg. And uh, that was really, really cool. Absolutely. I mean, she's such a superstar. Love Mariel. She's really cool and uh, she makes amazing food. Any How other questions? Um, yeah, Kat was wondering uh, something else, but I kind of forgot <laughs> what it was. Oh yeah, this is a good one, this is a good one. Okay, okay. Right, so Henry, if you could only buy one Bosch book, which one would it be? If I could only buy one Bosch book, which one would it be? Uh, I think my first choice for which Bosch book to buy would be Bosch. That's our first one, we put our favorite recipes in there. It feels like the Bible. Um, it's probably the first place you should go. My second one though, uh, my, uh, let me tell you my. Okay, okay, I think you know what okay, it's going to so be. Okay, so the first one would be Bosch. It's obviously the first. I'm going to take these out now, so yeah, we get, have a look at that. We'll get that. Uh, so, so, one second. So you can see these are starting to go golden brown. Now, you could take these out and serve them now, but they look a little bit, you know, they just don't quite look like what we want to see. Mm -hmm. So instead, I'm going to take them out at this point and just quickly drain them on some kitchen paper or a clean tea towel will be fine too. Yeah. Just give them a chance to rest. You don't need very long. Um, sure. I'm gonna show you over here what we've got some, uh, we've got a tea towel there. Yeah, nice. And that's just gonna drain away any kind of excess oil. And now it's time for the second part of this, the very exciting part of this. It's gonna make it even more crispy but I'll let you finish your story. Oh yeah, the story that I was gonna say, right, so Henry said, Bosch, I'm gonna say what I would do is pre-order our fifth book, which is called Speedy Vegan. It's coming out on the 17th of September of this year. It's basically full of 100 recipes, or actually a few more than 100. The, all the recipes are uh, 20 minutes. So you can literally come home from work and half an hour later, you can have your full dinner on the table. So that's what I would do. I mean, I completely agree. That's what I was gonna say because we're all time poor at the moment and Bosch recipes are great. We love Bosch recipes. This is a Bosch recipe. We put a lot of time into making food to taste amazing. But the speedy one, I mean, it's like Bosch food in minutes, which is great. Yeah. Okay, so these little beauties. Let me just uh, pop that out. Yeah. You wanna get the camera right? You have to get the camera right on that. Nice, so. okay. This is what happens. This is why we, we've just got two of us in the room now. Um, but these little beauties, as you can see, they've crisped up. They're now cool enough to handle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop them back in the batter for a second dunk. This is the all important step here. This is where all of the good stuff is gonna happen. That's gonna get dunked and go back into our oil. Double dip it! Double dip is what we're talking about. So we're gonna double dip these little tofu goujons and that's gonna make all the difference. Yeah, it really is. Working quickly because I have another thing I would like to do here. So if we just pop that little beauty, make sure they're covered in batter, drop that in. This is the moment when you get that fish and chip shop style coverage. You get that extra crispiness. Think of all that crispiness just crisping up in that lovely oil. Crunchy for days. That is what we're looking for. Yeah. Now if you want to, and this is a little tip that we learned from uh, Gaz Oakley, you can actually just spoon a little bit more batter on there as well. This is a kind of like fish and chip shop tip. Just help to encourage it to get really crispy. Spoon yeah. a little bit more on top. Lovely. Oh, that is good. Yeah, so our buddy Gaz is a, is a good old guy. You should go check him out. He's a lovely man. 
Uh, vegan community is strong these days. There's loads of people doing wicked stuff. Yeah, man, love that guy. And then, you know, that's a really important part of what we do at Bosch. Is like, we really like to be, um, people often talk to us about competitors, but for us actually, we don't see people as competitors. Like, we see people as collaborators because we're on a mission here. We are trying to make vegan food more accessible, more acceptable, more mainstream. So that is all we're about. And um, if there's more people doing that, then that's a fantastic thing. Yeah, man. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. They are the crispiest. Look at all the, all the crispiness. Mm. See what we did there. Amazing. I mean, Amazing. we're in a great place. Yeah. We were definitely running out of a little bit of time. So yeah. should we do some questions now? Yeah, Kat, if you've got any questions or if anyone has got any questions, tell Kat and then we will try and answer them right now. Absolutely. Are we wearing our Ibiza shorts today? Well, do you know what? I am. Hey! I'm wearing mine too. Mine aren't as bright as yours today. Like my, my, I've got like my yellows on. It's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah, we are in our Friday <laughs> finery. Fri oh yeah, let's um, tell, um, so our mate Anna messaged Henry earlier on, Anna Jones, she's a cookbook author, and she was, uh, she wants us to do something next Friday. Maybe we can get a little poll going. Oh yeah, what should yeah. we wear? Yeah, so she's basically said, guys, that she's doing this thing for Copper Field, which is a charity that is close to our hearts. It's a, it's a breast cancer charity, and she wants us to rock our Friday finery and then tag five of our mates who will also do it and then um, donate. So which kind of finery do you want to see us wear? Do you want to see us wear tuxedos? Shall we get our makeup done by MJ? <laughs> uh, or should we just go like wear our beach wear? You let us know in the comments. I think tuxedos is a good shout. I think so. You know what I mean? Because it's Friday, we're at home, but we're dressing up smart for at home. I think that makes sense. Oh, wait, I can tell when Ian's getting a little, getting a little talk because he, he kind of goes blank. She said, uh, okay, so uh, Kat's just whispered in my ear, what's, what's our favourite Bosch? I don't know what that means. Our favourite Bosch? Our, our favourite Bosch. What is our favourite Bosch? I reckon, uh, maybe recipe. Um, while we're working that out, can we do a qu little quick clean up? Turn around. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Get ready right, to so guys, serve. This, this is when we need to just tie it, clear the deck, and we need to make sure that like uh, the end shot is to die for. <laughs> to die for. So um, I'll do that. If you have just tuned in, this is Boss TV. I'm Henry. He's Ian. Uh, we're cooking today. We're cooking every single day in April uh, at 6 p.m. GMT or BST now. So you're hanging out with us for that. Thank you for joining. Today we're making vegan fish and chips. So this is turning tofu into incredibly crispy, delicious fish and chips that's obviously plant-based and cruelty-free. Um, we've got a special technique that we've just shown you, which is the double dip. Uh, it's a technique we actually like to use also for um, making vegan chicken wings as well. So uh, thanks for that, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> Ian's frantically cleaning while I chat. Uh, we make the vegan chicken wings. They are called the party poppers in our second book, Bish Bash Bosh. And we use the same technique for that. And it just helps you get, if I pull this out now, I'll show you on the side cam. Oh, Jesus Look at how crispy that is right there. And they're looking amazing. I mean, it's super crispy. And if top cam might get a bit better focus. I mean, that is crispy. Now, obviously, we've got two little um, cocktail sticks, which are kind of jutting out there. I'll be pulling those cocktail sticks out. Remember to pull your cocktail sticks out before you serve them. Um, but this is an absolutely amazing crispy vegan fish and chips. Oh my god, so you're saying fish and chips, yeah? That's what we said. <laughs> okay, well look, I've got chips now. Oh, that's good. Look, so chips are here. Look, check the chips out. Boo hoo! Um, and then fresh out of the oven. Fresh out of the oven, they are bloody hot. So, excuse my French. <laughs> so, 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 um, uh, so is the oil. Yeah, oh god. Uh, okay, right, so now what we need to do is we need to get a little plate, which is here. Got go, bro. Yeah, maybe some a bit more uh, kitchen paper. We haven't got uh, any actual kitchen paper. Oh, well. kitchen towel would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. and, and yeah, I guess the key thing here is if you're cooking this long at home, you're going to want to do this in batches. So you, you're not going to put everything in the pan at once, as I haven't. I've put in about half um, because. The, the oil will cool down too much. So you want to do it in batches and just give it a bit of time. Yep. Hang out with it. Cool. Now I'm going to get the... Uh, oh, here we go. Look at that. End, end shot territory, yeah? 
Lovely. How, the, how does that fish look, man? Well, I think we'll let that simmer away and we'll bring in the one we made earlier. Really? Yes, let's okay. do that. So, that's gonna simmer away, that's gonna take about another five minutes. What you're looking for is a golden brown color. Luckily, we prepared, and um, there's one that we made earlier. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So, here is what we're looking for. Absolutely beautiful, golden brown vegan fish and chips. It's crispy on the outside, super crunchy. You've got all of the flavors of the sea marinated through that tofu. Absolutely delicious. Paired with chips, of course, because we're not idiots. It's chippy tea. And that is like, you know, it's a, it's a British seaside classic. We're getting on to summertime now, so. Oh, oh, is that there one? There we go, like we're this? gonna have a look at some food. There we have our end shot. There it is, looking pretty good. Looking That's absolutely lovely. These little beauties are continuing on. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna move those along. I'll take five. Maybe you leave that there. Oh yeah, they, they oh, maybe, yeah. Uh, okay, let's taste it. It's time to taste. Hey! I hope you've enjoyed this uh, slightly more disorganized than usual Bosch Live, because it's quite a complicated recipe. Yeah. Um, if you're cooking long at home, you are gonna love it. It's worth the effort. And uh, talking about recipes, next week's menu is going up tomorrow. Uh, we've written it, it looks amazing. It was like, it's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot. So you've got nice. like some really nice, uh, like hot food and some great cold food. Do you want to tell them what the theme is? The theme is, well, I mean, you're getting guns out, mate. Protein! High protein! Ah. Right, so there's a load of you locked down. We're trying to be good with exercise and we're trying to work out every morning. Um, so we've been thinking a lot about protein. We've also seen a lot of people doing online workouts. So we're going to show you high protein. It's a bit of carb, but not too much carb. And if the carbs are there, they're high quality. High protein gym meals all next week. So the first week was potato, the second week was fake away. This week has been tofu. Next week is all about protein and there's some super duper healthy, healthy recipes and some from Speedy. Speedy. Some exclusive recipes from our new book, Speedy Bosch. If you want to pre-order that, the link is down below. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit like, hit the little notification bell so you get told when we go live or when we make a new video. And now we should taste. And the shopping list for next week is on the website right now. Cat put that on today. Big up, Cat. You're a legend. Uh, now let's go and uh, let's let's try some tofu. That all important dip shot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Should yeah, I go for this it. bad boy. Yeah, go for it. And then do you want me to go into the into the ketchup a little bit? Absolutely. Closer? Right. Although well, these little beauties are looking ready, dude. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Look, we're ready on our little fried bad, bad boys now. Why don't we get no? Okay. Okay. I'll go for the dip. Let me show. Let me show. That's what I'm saying. Right. Hold up. Hold up. Here we go. Right. Where's the spoon? Sorry about this, guys. So you can see that this is what's happened here. We're going, uh, we're going all out. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Boom! Uh, look at that. Oh, so they God. are fully ready. I'm just going to pop them on some kitchen paper to drain. Look at that! They are so crispy and crunchy. It's mental. It's insane. Oh, they're look perfect. How they are. Get a plate so it looks nice. Pop that nice. on there to drain. Oh man, they are perfect. They look bloody amazing. Don't they? Oh man, and it didn't take that long. You know, this is enough for two people uh, probably. Well, I'm going to pop them on that plate we're now. Play yes, look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Right, well, we can actually, that means we can actually serve up both of them, yeah, side by side, look at that. Okay, oh, well, here we go. see what we're doing right. here. I mean, it's proper chippy tea, isn't it? It's proper chippy tea. So this is, this is like how we construct the video at the end. We've got these little beauties here and we're gonna try and make everything look beautiful. Remember to take out the little cocktail sticks yeah. so nobody bites hot. onto them. And be careful because it's hot. And look, so this is what we're looking at now. There's like double trouble. Double trouble. Some are hot, some are cold, oh, are delicious. Um, right, so do you know what um, this kind of food needs? A good sprinkle of salt. There's oh, some man. nice salty, salty, salty. Also, I'll let you do the video. Oh, I don't mind if I do. And then a good tip about getting the salt on there while it's hot is it's gonna hang out a little bit better on the food when the food is hot. Of course, we want some vinegar. Let's get that vinegar shot over mm. there. And if some of you are wondering about tartar sauce, the recipe for that is in Bosch One. Oh man, tartar sauce is my favorite bit. 
But we wanted to keep this simple for you guys. Um, I mean, imagine how long it would have taken if we'd done the tartar <laughs> sauce. So the recipe is in Boss Put One, um, but you can find a good recipe online if you if you don't want to buy Boss One. Right, shall we, uh, shall yes. we just chuck it? Let's taste the one that's not completely yeah, boiling yeah, hot, absolutely yeah? Absolutely mentally Remember warm. Remember give oh, us yeah. a little Sorry. food shot. My bad, boom. Oh, hang on, where's our shot? There it is. Cool. What? Up. Go in for a dip. Yeah, go for it. Should we get the dip shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah let, 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 let me go closer, let me go closer, one sec. Yeah, come on, we need to really, really show, oh, look at that. There it is, there's the tomato. It's ketchup. time to eat. I hope you guys are ready. This is absolutely wonderful. So I've got one of these lovely little goujons, and, and we're gonna dip. Oh, my days, oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a little one of these. Oh, this. mate. Is it ridiculous? Wow. I'm gonna go for a hot one. Is that a stupid idea? Oh, you Probably. went for a hot one? Yeah, I went for a hot oh, one. Oh man, I'm jealous. My one's like lukewarm. Oh my god. Oh! Woo! You see that? Mm. Like, close your eyes in. You're gonna get the focus. Come on. Foci, come on. No, focus. no. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. It's so. Um, I tell you what, when you cook tofu like that and you get it nice and hot on the inside, it just makes it really fluffy and really flaky and the marinade works beautifully. Mm. This is a damn good thing. Mm. Oh my God, Friday night, sorted mate. And the vinegar and the salt, such a classic combination. I always thought when I used to eat fish and chips before I was vegan, that the, um, the batter was the best bit. Mm. So we've kind of got the batter anyway and we've got that tofu that's been injected with those lovely flavors and it's healthy, man. Tofu is good for you. So this is a really, really healthy replacement, albeit apart from all the fat in the <laughs> deep frying. But you know, we'll look past that. It's Friday night, it's cheap night. Yeah. Oh my God. Right, mm. so. So um, now this, the particular part of this evening, this Bosch evening, is coming to a slow close. Yeah. However, 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 oh, however, yeah, yeah, okay. There's no, big good. things are about to happen. If you've just joined us or joined us halfway through, you wouldn't know that we are about to go live and we're going to DJ live yes. on Twitch. Oh, yes. So our Twitch address is twitch.tv slash Bosch Live. And we are going to be playing music and hanging out with you lot while you cook or do whatever for the next two hours. So from 6.30ish to 8.30. So switch over, once we're done here, switch over to there, come hang out with us. But now we need to see what our housemates think. They do, and if you're, nice. wondering, if you're wondering where this test. recipe is, it's on the website right now. Okay. Um, so in case you're wondering, we are social distancing, uh, but we live with my fiance MJ, who's upstairs, and also Darren, who's also upstairs. So we're gonna see what they think. Ian, you're going in, man. Look, you're going in. No, 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 no. Mm. Should, oh my should god. We get a slightly better yeah. angle here of the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quick! This is quick, Darren. This is Darren. Chippy two. Say hey to Darren, body way deep. Right, Darren. Oh my god, have amazing. A See what you think. Okay, oh, how much are we. Choose what you want. Anyone. Uh, oh, anyone. Okay, I'm going to choose this one. That looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the batter, look at that. Uh, oh, look that, this, that, 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 yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Uh, so, Doesn't matter. Anyway, just it's amazing. <laughs> it's uh, so, so... Okay. so I'm just going to use my hands and... Yeah, rip it up. Yeah. It's hot as hell, ah. though. Yes. <laughs> it is hot, I can confirm. Oh, look at that. Oh, Piping, man. look. Steaming. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to try Watch and... Watch out for the uh, cocktail stick. Oh, Forgot to take shot. that one out. Thank yeah, you. don't eat that. Yeah. <laughs> Remember to take your cocktail sticks out. Okay, I'm going in for ketchup. Right, while you're eating, MJ, come on in. This is MJ, my fiance. Grab one, have a taste. See what you wow. think. Wow, this one? Whatever you like. Yeah, that one's fine. I mean, that's huge. Can I? I just, just go. go about just go. You made to put the whole thing in at once. No, not the whole thing. Just take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. Darren, of course. <laughs> what do you think? So good. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's got it. those um, kind of like sea uh, uh, herbs and. Mm. And those spices and flavours. You know? Yeah. And the, the batter oh. is spot on. It's what yeah. I remember from a you know fish and chip shop. Um, back, in, back in the day. It's delicious. Back in the day. Mm. Back in the day. Mm. Well worth the, the time and effort, I'd yeah, imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Hopefully delicious. So. Absolutely delicious. MJ thoughts? It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't taste super fishy, but I like that about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marks out of ten. Nine and a half. Oh, okay, I was going to go with nine. 
Yeah. yeah. Nine and nine and a half. We'll take that. I love yeah. that. So right, good. really good. Thanks, like guys. Fluffy it is. Yeah, you like the fluffiness. I think the sim toe fish has. Mm, it's a quite a dense yeah. tofu, and this is really fluffy. Nice. Like it would be. It's more yeah. flaky and fluffy, isn't it? Epic. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you very much. Thank yeah, you we very, can finish very much, that. Guys. And we are just going to thank you guys for hanging out with us. Um, I'll have one more dip of this over here. Yeah. Because, you know, oh my goodness, oh, no. that's good. Oh, God. Remember not to knock the cameras when you walk past them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, today has been a real pleasure. Um, it's obviously quite um, a big involved recipe. Uh, so it maybe was slightly off the beaten track in terms of kind of like organisation. Yeah. I feel like we need a few more subins. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a few more subins. We'll sort that out next week. Next, next week, thanks for bearing with us. As we said before, protein week next week. All the uh, ingredients that you need for next week are on the recipe on the website right now. It's going to be wicked. We can't wait to cook with you again. And we're going to be ending right now on Facebook and YouTube. But if you want to hang out with us and listen to some music that we play, then switch over right now to twitch.tv slash Bosch Live. Twitch.tv slash Bosch Live. That's B O S H L I V E. There you oh, go. Maybe, yeah, we're going to be DJing there. Yeah. It's going to be mental. But for everyone on Facebook, everyone from YouTube, thank you very much for joining us again. This is the end of week three. Monday starts with the beginning of week four. It's going to be wonderful. But see you on Twitch in about five minutes. See you there. And if not, have a great weekend. Woo! Oh yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm.